Hi, Henry. Good morning. approaching on our subject in his uh, natural habitat out in the wild oh my god what's he doing making a pb and j groundbreaking this creature could eat up to seven times a day morning <laughs> <laughs> today is the day that we're doing day in the life of an nfl player aka the fiance, Ross DeBoss. If you have ever been curious what it even, what a day in the life of an NFL player looks like, um, kind of what they do for workouts and recovery, what they eat, I am going to be the guinea pig and do pretty much everything that Ross does today. So follow along if you're interested and we'll see if I survive. Um, Disclaimer, this is Ross's day in the life. This is not, I'm not speaking for everyone in the NFL. Also keep in mind, this is early in the off season. So this is gonna look different than how it would look like right before season, during season. So let's just like, I'm, we're gonna do a lot of generalizing. So don't be all up in my comments if, if this is not what you're expecting. <laughs> yeah, all you haters that comment on my videos. Um, and also, Leave a comment and a like. <laughs> but also comment <laughs> if you have any questions at all. <laughs> I'm already behind. He's eating a, is that toasted peanut butter and jelly open faced sandwich? All right, I feel like I'm already gonna make us late. What time do I need to be at the field? Ross does not uh, drink coffee anymore. So if I'm like truly like doing what he does in the day, I won't drink any coffee, but that really sounds depressing. So I might make one middle of the day. I won't make one right now. We'll see if I can just get high off the vibes. All right, breakfast down the hatch. First things first, we are going to the field before we go to the gym. It did. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The rain. It's testing. Testing us San Diegans. Um, we're going to the field because he does running. How how many days a week do you do running? Right now, two to three. So yeah, twice a week. And then we're gonna go to the gym where he does his like lifting and weight training. It's raining. And the field is not ideal conditions, I wouldn't say. Little, you hear that squish? Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, my bad. 
out 40 yards here <laughs> we're just gonna get it a little baseline on what Danielle's 40 yard dash would be just to know you know we're not judging anything by it or anything we're just you know getting the baseline something to work off of all right shoe indicates 40 yards here she comes come on yep yep Yep. Okay. Hit me with my time. Am I going to the league? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? Six point eight five. That's not horrible. That's not bad. You were under seven. That's not bad. That's really good. And it's. I mean, I have and a million excuses. What are those? What are these? Look at my shoes. <laughs> awesome. Good job, babe. Thanks. She's league bound. <laughs> NFL draft coming up. Gotta shave at least a second off that. Yeah. If we could get you under six, I think you're draft worthy. Does anyone that gets drafted, are they under six? Uh, like, like punters and linemen and stuff. Sign me up. Time to go weight train. What day is it today? Lower body? Lower body. Yep. I love lower body lifts, so let's get it.
Yeah. Good shit, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Barely survived. Maybe we're home and go get our gains though. Oh my gosh. That was... We absolutely grinded in there. I really liked the gym too. It was like gritty and athlete, mm. athlete gym. Yeah. Leg lift complete. Oh my God. How do you do this every day? I'm not even trying to hype him up. Like it's just hard, okay? We're home and look at me. Oh. All right, straight to Gainesville we go. Straight to Gainesville. So we're making a post-workout smoothie. Okay, I'll try to put the ingredients on the side so it's easy to watch. But uh, we've got blueberry, a couple of pieces of ice, blueberry, uh, banana, one banana each, spinach, like probably two handfuls, two small handfuls of spinach. Um, here's what it looks like so far. What else do we got? Uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter. Oats. Oats. What are the oats for? Just extra, Just like extra energy? Carbs. Yeah. Extra carbs. Because fun fact, I don't know if everyone's aware, but carbs is, are super good for you post-workout. They help with your recovery. You would think it's just protein, but actually carbs are really important. Carbs transport the protein. There you go. Carbs transport the protein to what? The muscles? Yes. Heard it here first. <laughs> um, my organs. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> oh, you made that up? I, no, I think that's right, but now I'm like, wait, did I make that Look up? at my orchid that is starting to open. Oh. And what type of protein powder are we doing today? We've got... I should say not an ad, but... Yeah, none of this is an ad. This is just what we actually do. Uh, momentous, because I think you said the 49ers use it. 100% mm -hmm. plant-based, so no way in here. Uh, big, the big thing here is that it's NSF certified. Uh, Ross has to make sure all of his products he's using or eating are NSF um, certified. Mm -hmm. Creatine. Oh God, it's my first time taking creatine, I think. What's gonna happen to me? Am I gonna become the Hulk? Yeah, you're gonna, your traps gonna... are gonna be like this. Like... One scoop of creatine? Yeah. <laughs> That's literally what I picture happening. So here's what is, the smoothie looks like. Uh, oh, taco, taco. What's creatine do? It like helps your muscles. You can right here. Helps your, it helps your it helps your brain and your nerves. So and sports performance. Anywho, we got some grass fed whole milk. We're back on the whole milk train. Ross has always been on it, but I'm back on it kind of too. No, well, I kind of got off it too and got on the nut milk vibe, but no, you know, well, I'm back on the grass fed whole milk. We're on the whole milk train now. Here we go. Nice dark blueberry color. Mm. Is it fire? So good. I was starting to lose it. What you got? Is that your lobster? Can I show the vlog your lobby? Can I show the vlog your lobby? Oh, lobby. She went in from the back and just absolutely destroyed it. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. So I didn't have a coffee this morning. I don't know how I survived, but I'm like still just craving the taste of one so and the ritual um so i'm going to make a little snack of this cashew forager i think is a really good brand organic probiotic cashew milk yogurt making a snack of this 
some blueberries and some granola. And then I'll make a decaf because I don't wanna be super wired at bedtime decaf latte with whole milk. And it's coming from someone that's been drinking oat milk for the last few years. It tastes so freaking good. My decaf pot in there. I used to drink whole milk in college or by, AKA vitamin D and it was kind of more when I was trying to get gains and gain weight and gain muscle. Then I went off of it because dairy became the villain of our society and now I'm back on it. I have to say I'm happy to be back. Well, we'll see. I'm waiting to see if my, usually with dairy, with a lot of dairy intake, all right here freaks out. So with our wedding coming up in a few months, I'm obviously gonna be very careful about if this starts affecting me, then I'll know to cut it out. But for now, it's good. Look how stunning she is. Absolutely stunning. Honestly, I can already feel my legs like getting out of chairs, going upstairs. I'm just like, this is, if you can feel it the day of your workout, just know the day after and the day after that are gonna be interesting to say the least. Oh, and I completely forgot to add a little bit of agave and a little bit of cinnamon. I think it tastes, tastes nice. It's good stuff. What? Huge. Yeah, you can see how much <laughs> Okay, so here's the inside. And once it pressurizes, it blows up really big. And then you wear a little thing for the oxygen. And it's not flowing yet, but um, it will. Okay, the oxygen is flowing. Flow is flow. Name that movie. Here's the front side. Got my little area up here. It's pretty roomy. It's like actually really roomy. I was kind of nervous. I'd feel claustrophobic, but feels nice. <laughs> Just got back from the hyperbaric chamber. Um, the hyperbaric chamber. It was interesting. It was very chill. I thought it would be more like, I thought you'd be able to feel it more. Don't really know exactly what I thought you could feel, but. Well, you felt like, you feel like your ears pressurizing. Yeah, so like. Like you're growing up in a plane or something. You gotta. So the hyperbaric chamber, you know. how, how often would you say you do it a week? Once or twice a week. And for I'm how long? Days. 90 minutes in there. So we'll put the like, we'll put what it's called on the screen right here. Let's do some like good tech stuff right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but you can look it up to see all the benefits. Like we're not here to sell anything, but he does it and loves it. I just tried it today and really liked it. The and pressure, so the pressure from the chamber opens up your cells and they receive more oxygen and then you have like the oxygen, you know, that you're breathing in your nose, um, you know, so it just, and that, that oxygen in your cells helps your muscles recover and boom. All that good stuff. It's honestly, a scientist, <laughs> I, know it's I started <laughs> laughing basic. when you were explaining it. It's, the basic. it's hard to explain, but it basically helps you recover. So that was really fun. And, um, Maybe gonna get into a yoga class later, but we'll see. We'll see what we get into. Okay, it is dinner time. Day in the life. What we doing tonight? We're doing homemade poke bowls. Picked up some poke from a little grocery store called Lazy Acres that's by us. Microwave and some some rice. Got some edamame, cucumber, avocado, green onion. Um, we love making homemade poke bowls poke bowls where we buy the pokey and then we make all the ingredients that go with it. So we're saying homemade pokey, but it's not like we're out there like <laughs> reeling in the ahi, yeah, you know? I think it'll fish inside. Okay, so 
Okay, so we got edamame. We've got some cucumber that I put a little rice vinegar on, so it's doing a little pickle in there. We've got green onion, avocado, everything but the bagel. We've got this spicy sriracha mayo. And of course, the best chips ever that have soy in them. So it's like perfectly on brand. Have a chips. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. That's a good avocado too. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna do a little coconut aminos, I think. Okay. This is the biggest Poke Bowl I've ever seen. <laughs> go off. That looks insane. Here's mine. Looks so good. And we made the couch a bed because we're planning on just <laughs> being couch potatoes the rest of the night. Vibes. Sunset looks like it's gonna be so pretty. Got our Couch dinner. I would say like two times a week we go to yoga, which you won't see in this vlog, but we do either some sort of like really, really slow flow, like restorative yoga, which helps us a lot. Um, Sometimes really hot. Or, or a hot yoga. Um, so if we had done that today, we would have thrown that in there. Right. All right, last part of our day here. We're ending with the Beamer. This is like a pad and you lay on it. It uses electromagnetic waves to increase your circulation and open up your blood, red blood vessels. Oh, wow. So your blood and here's blood. the machine. Where do you want this? On your legs? Yeah, on my quads. I want extra love on the quads. How long do you usually do this again? Like, like 16 minutes. 16 minutes of recovery. But that's pretty much it. We're both gonna hit this, lay on the mat. We're watching uh, March Madness and that's kind of like the end of our day. So thanks for watching. It's been real. Hope it's you enjoyed. So Hope you enjoyed this day in the life and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.